from Saturday. I'm using the gay cup again because I want to remind you all to belong, believe, and be proud. I just memorized that. And here's three things I'm obsessed with right now. One, Kenzie's hair. Does not look so cute? Two, this picture. Isn't that so adorable? I don't know why it's so satisfying to me for some reason. And three, um, I forgot what three is. Good morning. Good morning. No. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted. What do you think dad made for breakfast? Dun 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 dun. dun. Thanks for cooking, dad. So pretty. Is there something in this? Oh. I thought dad was being extra for a minute. Dad made us beautiful overnight oats and a beautiful smoothie. What's our smoothie flavor today, Dad? Strawberry, a banana. This dog, can you tell? He knows the one that will is his best bet to give him something from the breakfast table. Honey, it's not anything that you would actually even enjoy. I would do it. Okay, Dad, put, Dad put that bowl right there, this little one, on the table, and it literally shook for like... <laughs> Dad, no, he's been reading Harry Potter so much, he's literally yeah, turning into a balls. wizard. Those balls just do No, it. but that was nothing compared... I'm going to pull it like, off the security footage. It was like footage. a minute long. It yeah, watch. Like really long. It's just these balls. <laughs> they just... I don't know why they do that. <laughs> I don't believe it. No, it's it it's sorcery. It's sorcery. Dude, it sounds like someone's like drumming super No, fast. it sounds like a yeah, ghost is over there. It. <laughs> it won't work for me, watch. No, no like I think it's magic. Oh, I think this. No. <laughs> I'm massaging dad and um, he just said that he doesn't like the word offerings. Like, the restaurant's offerings, I don't like it. If you love, you I know, sweetie. Things. I took it hard too. Top of the Saturday morning. I have no idea. I didn't charge it last night. Sorry. Saturday morning, we're gonna go to our nephew's baseball game. He's like competitive and stuff. So we've gotten baseball chic and these cute baseball outfits. And there's a couple more baseball outfits behind me, in front of me. And these are some pictures from last night. Thank you. I have, I do, I have so many shortcuts to the aisles I like in Target. And Bro led the way and she knew my shortcut. We're here to get Kenzie's little cousin, Burnley, a squishy male. Oh, because oh, today's our niece, Burnley's 10th birthday. Thank you. All my Squishmallow babies, help us out. Are these cute? And then this is the one that Scented. my sister in law oh, said that she would like the most. <gasps> Those are cute decorations. What's that now, Bro? These are scented. Oh, slay. Oh, so many. Ooh, do they have a pepperoni? I don't know. What is this, Brian? Can you uh, tell me what this is, Brian? Oh my gosh, the wildest game. Cause How uh, fun. you wanna play that, Brian? Kenzie, did you get the present all lit up? Yep. Show it off. Oh. Now we're gonna go pick up Starbucks and go play ball. Play ball! That's for baseball, right, Ted? Uh-huh. So many different sayings for so many different sports. Okay, chop, chop, people, come on. Green, I know the slight cycle, let's do this. Brian Holgate, what Brian wants. You got, you got all of breakfast. Okay, dad made a stop at Starbucks. He got all the drinks, now we're going to baseball. Hey, here we go, baseball time. Look at dad with all the drinks. Go, Baron! <laughs> baseball. Go, Baron! Yeah. Oh, you warm up a little? Go, Baron! Come on, Baron! Come on, Baron Toast! Baron. I put my own little touch on it. <laughs> good eye. <laughs> So that was good eye because he didn't swing because it was a bad, was a bad one. Yeah. Okay. It was a bad one. Oh, I'm so not I'm so not jealous of him right now. I'd be so scared to hit it. Oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> if it hits you, can you just walk to yeah, the ball? Oh, I love hearing the team cheer for him. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> When the, like in the movies, when the little person that's sitting down is doing the numbers, what does that mean? Their fingers. Does Parker know? <laughs> this is so cute and real. We're like sports moms. We got chili stuff and um, popcorn for everybody. And we're just in this wonderful baseball wonderland. Hi, Dad! Yes! We just said four hours of baseball. 
Dad was a total baseball dad. What did you think? Bear did so good. And Kenzie, what did you do for four hours? It was like a huge playground. I played with my cousin and, and, it, and another girl. It was great, and they won, so. And they did. In the yeah. first game, and then they tied the second game. Really All because good. Dad was a good luck charm. Olivia did say that. We just got birthday cards from Dad's sweet Aunt Monica. Isn't that so cute? We're all tired. We're all tired from baseball day. And this boy has been acting crazy. And look where he's sitting. It's 6.30, he knows it's his dinner time and he's pissed, he wants that food right there. Do you wanna eat? Are you hungry? Hi, it's an evening check-in at 7.30. That's dad, this is Didi. We're gonna go out to dinner with the family now. Thinking cheesecake, even though it's two eight hour, wait two hour wait. Dad, say something. Are you having a good Saturday? I'm having a really good Saturday. You're having, having a very sexy Saturday. Us. I love having you around me. Christmas the Holgate Bros are going to Boca de Beppo. Have you ever been here? Press one for yes. Thanks, Dad. Oh, what a gentleman. Kenzie so said this restaurant is sus because there's like bets and boobs everywhere in the beach. What's for breakfast today? This. Dad's pizza is the best, is the question. Hi, that's Copper looking up at me. Have, he's looking heavenward. Who's gonna be 34 this week? Isn't that cute? Dad's gonna be 34. And Dad, do you like that? Do you, or uh, let's ask you, do you like that Dad and me are always like same even number, odd number? Dad'll be 34, I'll be 38. Dad'll be 35, I'll be 39. Dad'll make 39 potatoes, I'll leave 40. We're out here walking on this beautiful Sunday morning with Dad. There's, oh look, there's a red cardinal. Are they all red? The boys are. Okay, cool. Look at how cute Kenzie looks on Sunday morning. Love you. So Dad Pettigrew just cut, uh, not cut these. Pettigrew. He just picked them. There he is. What movie are we going to watch tonight, Dad? We are going to finish Harry Potter number four. What's it called? The Goblet of Fire. And I really want to get a stuffed animal of those little things that you pull out of a plant and they scream. <laughs> what is that called? A man, Pop quiz on you, Dad. Mandrake. Okay, cool. Hey pickleball girls out there in the world, we're gonna go to Target to kill some time before we have to go to the baseball game. Now, Didi, I have a question for you. You better answer right if you want a drink. Who runs the playground? Me. Girls. Who runs? Because he ran the playground at the park yesterday. I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> Dad's new nickname is Binky. Looking at little floor vacuums, why would you pay $800 for a vacuum? Just because get... you don't have a vacuum ever again. It's amazing. It's the best for thing For $800, ever you could have a maid for a year that Do would vacuum. Wanna, will you vacuum if I pay you $800 a year? Yeah. We're, we're just looking at um, no, we're just looking at nephews. God, I have a problem with saying the wrong thing. My nephew Chase loves building Legos, but I really want to build Legos. Dad, when I looked at that one, I thought it was a Luxor hotel from Vegas. Where's the Disney fancy ones? <laughs> There's Bear Bear on third base. He's gonna slide into home. Holy crap. Go Bear! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I know, okay, we're, like my ones. nephew Baron collects these and we're celebrating his win by getting one. I know, they're so cute. I didn't know this one. Really but, cute. So we're getting this one for Bear Bear. Uncle Brian, mm. these are such cute those little things. So with a pin. Bro, they come with pins for the Marie. 100 year. Dinner is served. We're going to go to another baseball game in a little bit, but dinner is served. Leftover buka. Dad made some skirty steak and this. Hi guys, we're straight. We're going to another baseball game. Dude, you just not make us look so straight, Dee Dee. No. Going to all the baseball? No, it just makes us no, look No, it makes okay. us look like slay uncles. Okay, Sunday night. Here we go. Is your cousin gonna win? Yeah. It's so quiet now that they're down to like the final teams that are like the best. Isn't that weird? There was like 400 million people here earlier. All the babies had to go home. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you lost. I present the world's cutest baseball player. Go Bear Bear. Take it, take it, take it. Good job, Bear. Good morning, y'all. This morning was our first day back to waking up early. Can you tell I did my hair in the dark? Wild, right? Also, can you believe my little baby boy, Brian Holgate, is going to turn 34 on Thursday? This week. Like, we're going to be celebrating that baby boy this week. 
The little stinker was only 23 when I fell in love with him and now he's 34. He's like literally growing up way too quick and it's making me feel really old. I'm gonna be taking y'all on all my birthday errands in the next three days because I have so many to do, but for now I gotta go. Stop for dad's birthday errands is super charging it. It's like two five bucks, they don't have a two husband to husband birthday card. Well, 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 what have we here? One LGBTQIA plus card. There's over 1.2 million gay households in America, and yet we have one card to choose from. Isn't that nice? Oh, and it's a piece of cake. Okay, read this real quick. How is this LGBT? Hey, happy Monday. Today is a busy day. Today, Kenzie starts back at dance. Now that spring break's over, also starts her spring season for volleyball. So she has a new coach, same team. So we're stoked about starting that. And it's 45 degrees out, no big deal. Aside from that, I have some birthday errands to run for my baby dad. And I have to pick up Kenzie's gift for him. Her and I discussed getting him a Harry Potter Lego set because he's in that era of life right now. Do you know what I'm saying? So we'll see. This is one of the last days you'll see Brian Holgate while he's still 33. Weird, oh my God. I'm old now. I feel so like maternal over you right now. We came home from school, we got a latte and made top ramen for Kenzie because this is my specialty, okay? A few moments later. I made Kenzie top ramen and she said, she didn't like don't it. care how I don't want it now. And she dropped it on the floor. I'm making another batch of top ramen. Look who's very interested. Is that top ramen? Okay, do you remember how obsessed I was with this? Well, somehow this thing broke off and we can't find it and nothing fits to replace it. So all this stuff is literally trapped in here, which is so sad. Any input on what I can do to fix this? Because dad knows how to fix everything and we can't figure this out. But I'm gonna use my coupon right now, a bath body to go get me a baby one in the meantime. I'm getting this little sucker for the car. It's really good, Kenzie wears this. We're at Academy now to look at some Nikes dad wants. Wait, why can't my hand fit in this? Is it supposed to be like that? Hold on. Never mind, they're for kids. We're here because dad likes these a lot and we still need some birthday ideas for him. So what do y'all think? Kenzie's home from dance and while she was at dance, I went and picked up dad's birthday gift from her. Oh Bro, I'm not kidding, he doesn't even know. It's so good. Her reaction is it's so good. adorable. Oh my God, I need those too. Okay, good. So Kenzie got him these socks and she got him these shoes. Bye, we're gonna go eat tacos. Oh look, Dad and Me's coats match today, but this is just what you need to see. Kenzie, he'll get on. The Antoniums, whatever Don't, they're called. Oh, <laughs> Altoids. Uh oh, Al Antoniums. Oh, so it's like the red Ooh, ones. I like Antoniums. <laughs> Um, but bro, bro, this is Kenzie Holgate live footage on her first day of spring season volleyball. How do you feel? Are you pumped? Good! Are you gonna um, slay the volleyball? Yes! Slay. Okay, babe. Morning, babies. I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. I know we don't support this brand that much, but they have great birthday decorations for lovely prices. So don't hate the homo, hate the homophobe. Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday, it's raining, Kenzie has acting today. That's the schedule. I think we're gonna go get a lemonade. Um, but tomorrow is Brian Holgate Eve. That is the day before Brian Holgate's birthday. I have my work cut out for me. All the decorations, wrapping, presents, all that stuff. I've got things coming, delivering on his birthday. It's gonna be quite the fiasco. We're excited. So. Hello world. There's only two more days left of dad being this age. Two more days! And he's being a troublemaker right now. You're a naughty little boy. This is a light, this is a light, this is a street light. Try to get her. Dad, we're on a walk and dad is throwing little rocks at our tiny little human up there. Dad, AKA the boy who's about to turn 34. A big one. Go for it, Dee Dee. We was talking to you, woman. I just showed this child, Kenzie Holgate, the theme for dad's birthday this year. Last year it was turquoise and gold, so it's kind of Tiffany-ish. This year we're doing 90s Barbie and sprinkles. It's silver instead of gold. Tissue paper. This color scheme doesn't it remind you of Barbie's makeup. You're cute. Okay, keep reading. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, Dad and me are going to Target. We're gonna get the things that need to make this little boy's a little treat. He wants brownies again, even though I don't understand that, but it's cute. So Kenzie and I'll make those tomorrow. We're gonna get some groceries. Dad's gonna make what for dinner? Chicken cacciatore, grandma's recipe. Mm -hmm. Grandma's version, it's like Taylor's version. So far, Dad's got all the vegetables. And isn't it weird that some of these apples, he'll eat at 33 and some he'll eat at 34. And he's got carrot juice because he's a Benny. He's getting chicken. Rosa Jones requested these for her lunch for school. So we're letting her have her um, 90s moment with them. But how cute are those gingerbread cookies, Dad? Honey Bennies, Nutty Buddies. All right, Evan wants brownies with his cheesecake for his birthday dessert. So let's, can you guys help me pick one? Should we do chocolate supreme or should we do dark chocolate? Oh, dark chocolate, he likes that. That's a good idea, thanks for your help. Brian's just like a river. They're down. Just throw chips into the cart. I don't know, it's we'll not a big grab deal. A new bag. <laughs> no, it's not a big deal, they didn't break. It's right there. I know, these are the ones that she likes. No, what she likes is that. You can Bad. get that, that's fine. Chips. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I didn't mean it. Just put it out, I'll get a new one. I accidentally threw the cans of cat food on the chips. Two, one. She is a wild card. Dee Dee, look at you, you're a mean girl's outfit. Okay, we have to talk. Tomorrow's our uh, tomorrow's dad's. And today, that means today's Brian Holgate Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Holgate Eve, Holgate okay, Eve. get it together, girl. We have a lot of work to do today. This is Kenzie, zoom out. She looks amazing. Okay, one little picture, belt bag. Today's Brian Holgate Eve. This is Brian Holgate's last time taking Kenzie to school while he's 33. That is all, thank you. Bye. Hi, were we gritty? Hello from uh, Wednesday. Dad is a special man, so yes, he's getting decorations from Hobby Lobby. I got decorations from Walmart, and now I grabbed a few things at Dollar Tree to make a little sign for Dad tomorrow. It's gonna be so exciting. Welcome to Dad's birthday decoration preparation. Wait, the birthday decoration. Oh, that rhymes. I'm gonna make signs, blow up balloons, chug coffee to keep the energy going, and then when Bro gets home, we're making brownies, really brownies. Decorations are coming along fabulously. Okay, hold on. I've got thir my 34 done. I've got my favorite word I love to say. Dad, the best thing. So I've got some presents wrapped. Some are from my mom. Some are gonna come from my mom tomorrow. I'm gonna work on this sucker. It says happy birthday. And then I try to do a little sign to put in the car um, for when he gets in the car in the morning. And naturally his problem child hat. Oh my God, she is so annoying. All of a sudden never listens to me. How about that? A word? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to your bed. That means it's Brian Holgate Eve. And that means me and Kenzie have our work cut out for us tonight. So as you just saw, I did a lot of balloon preparations, but you have to understand, we want balloons in the car for dad. We want balloons on the ceiling for dad. We want balloons everywhere. I'm gonna make our little boy watch us in the car. Feel as special as possible. We're gonna get Kenzie from school and I'm gonna take dad to Target because I want him to wear a shirt. Like yes, he wears like athletic, comfortable sh shirts to work. And I want him to wear a shirt that matches his color scheme. So I want to get him like a bright blue t-shirt. Oh my God, I'm so excited for dad's birthday though. Go ahead and come down. This is dad's last time coming down while he's 33 to go to school pickup. My last hug with dad um, before school pickup. My sweet thing. I'm excited for you to turn 34. Honk, honk. Are you excited, honey? Show the world what you're wearing. Yeah. Are y'all excited to bake brownies with me and Judy in an hour? They're gonna be amazing. How are you feeling on this, your last day of um, being 33? Slay. Any um, highlights? What was your favorite trip you took while you were 33? I'll do what I do with Judy. Do oh, you? the cruise that we just went on. Okay. But I am really excited for our California trip in a few Okay. Days. And what was your favorite pair of shoes you got while you were 33? Favorite pair of shoes I got while I was 33. So you got oh, caramel, the, you got like, caramel colored Nike. Loves it. Hi everyone, look, it's dad. We're taking dad on birthday eve to go to Target. How you feeling over there, bro? She had a great day. Can you write my name in the concrete? No, let's write Rufus. Do you know what these are called? Dad short. That's 
Remember I said I was get, wanted to get Dad a little shirt to go with his birthday theme, so this like rich royal Ramona blue will work. And Bro has gotten herself a pair of nice little denim shorts that so she needs. Y'all, Didi has done it again. The theme, look, all this blue, it's going with Dad because he's a boy. Even though blue is a girl's color too. Dad, the kids are sleeping. Oh my God, you guys, isn't this coming in the next movie? The Grindelows? Yes, the Triwizard um, Tournament at the Black Lake. Bro, ah. Bro holding on to both her boys. Okay, girls, birthday brownies production. Take one. Dad's birthday is just like the river. Okay, pick an apron. No one messes with Dad Charming. Dad's just sitting over there, so he gets like the front row seat. Just a little plant. That's all we're making today. Okay, Mackie. Cover it. We need to cover our braids. Girl, hurry up. We have work to do. Get that out of here. Oh, God, you're right. I'm trying to be like Dad's picking videos. Okay, so walk with us this way. This is exactly like my cookie face. So we need to do 325 or here on tight. Okay, cool. And use the square glass pants behind you. I think I know what that we should use this one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We are making this for dad. I'm just kidding. We're not making that fancy stuff. So dad's We're making gone, brownies. Yeah, dad's gone with chocolate chip dark chocolate brownies. Okay, take it to the podium. Copper no barking. Is that a time lapse? No, it's a regular lapse. Okay, let go. Get us the things we need. We need um one egg. One egg. And we need vegetable oil half cups. I should do this in a mixing bowl first, right, Tub? You should do it. This is past the good days. You have to use a measuring glass. This is for that is for liquids. Cool. Should I do water or the vegetable oil first? This okay. is not like a like thing where we've done in the past where dad we get like a little bit of help from dad. We're gonna get whatever help we want. Where do we keep vegetable oil? Oh. Now another thing is is when you have two dads, you don't celebrate your birthday one day, you celebrate your birthday two days. So, like we've said in the past, happy Brian Holgate Eve, so I'll just celebrate. Slay the pepper, well, slay the olive oil. White. Will you get us one fourth cup water, please? One fourth cup. Count how many names we'll call bro in this video. Okay, pre the oven, done. Prepare a baking pan by lightly greasing spraying with non-cooking spray. I'm gonna need you to do that part, Dad. I'm not good with the greasing thing. Just hold the pan. Really I'll do it. I did this last year and it was a complete disaster. Hold it over the no, but I go too fast with it. You don't want it runny, so hold it farther away, not that far, and just spray the bottom only. See? No, there's not enough. You need to glue all the corners. No, just the bottom, right? The bottom, corner to corner. The brownies have to bake and grab onto the sides of the glass. Grab that's on. Oh my spray. god, that's, that's so Okay, that's good. I know. That's a lot of spray. And it won't dry in the meantime? No. Okay. Okay, my lovely assistant has gotten the water. How are we doing so far, Dad? Slay. Promise? Slay. Oh my God, the chocolate chips are... Um, it, it said that I should put the water, oil, and egg in medium bowl and stir it until fully mixed, and then add brownie mix. Uh -huh. But I put water in the brownie mix already in. Is that bad? No, you just follow, read the directions. As D slowly pushes it down. Is that bowl too small? I don't know. You can use my use the bowl that's on the KitchenAid. Should I make my? That's where these ruined. No, no, we can do this. Okay. But the water's already gone in there. Take the stuff out of it. Put the water and the oil and the egg in the bowl. Stir to mix. Should I sprinkle a little bit of water in? Probably not. No. So can you go stir that? Okay. So when you have a disaster like this and you do things out of order, it's okay. Dad said that you can just redirect and figure things out and switch things up. Okay, um, oh God, our oven already went off. We're behind. Okay. It's okay. Honey, I think we should like maybe like put it in the earth and come out. Because I feel like we maybe have lost a little bit of our hydration. Should I? I just absorbed it. You're good. Are you promise? The oil is what gives it all the moisture. The water is just. I want your brownies to be perfect, though, Dad. They will be. It wasn't all you. It was Brody. That's probably enough of it, right, Dad? Bro and I are gonna try the batter. Yeah, that's good. Really? And is this an eight by eight? As long as it's all mixed up. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Eight by eight. Yes, as long as that is mixed evenly. You 
bought nicer ones, so hopefully it is. Yeah, last year we used Betty Crocker last I mean, I love the Betty Crocker That's ones. not good. But I'm just not feeling Betty Crocker-ish this year. I feel like I need an upgrade. By the way, if you shop at Aldi, her name isn't Pam, it's Carlini. Okay, so we've got all of the um, liquids scraped out. Since he's finishing off the spatula. And this is our Ghirardelli Chuck Bernie's, like Ghirardelli Square in Disneyland. Well, that's fun. I'm an one. Look at my sled babies. Can you hold it? Can I hold it? <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so then what you want to do is put it in the oven. Don't we need to put that, the bottom bar one on the like, should I pull the rack out? That's like something. Take good. out the bottom rack and lower it, yeah. it one notch. Oh my god, this is so nerve wracking. I have to come over. Wait, wait, wait. What? Hope you like it. Oh my god, this is a song from your TikTok. Alexa, volume five. Oh my god, what a funny thing! I just walked over here to check the brownies, Dad, and there's 18 seconds. Whoa. Did you plan that? What? Let's see, it smells heavenly. We just did the toothpick test. If you don't know what that means, you get a Q-tip. I mean, a toothpick, I my god, why did I say that? And you put it in, and if poop comes on it, then they're not done. But if it comes out like... No, brownies, a little bit, you should have a little bit of gooeyness on them. Because they're brownies. So we're gonna take the brownies out now. We're like real pioneer women, cooking for our men. So amazing. Thank you. So that's all for dad's brownie birthday thing. And then he's also getting cheesecake. Like Hold me like a girl. Oh, I'm a pickle Percy. pick. Okay. This way. See you next time on this way, Dee Dee. Wait, I will. See you next time on Baking with Dee, Dee and Kenzie. This way. <laughs> Hello, you little sweeties. Okay, tonight we are making Grandma's meatloaf. Grandma Susie, she's the best. She makes yummy food. This is her recipe. It's super slow, super easy. Oh, it's so good. And I used to hate meatloaf. Like, my mom never, ever, ever once ever made meatloaf. And so as a kid, I was like, that's disgusting. No, but Grandma Susie, you're the best. Okay, so. As with most of my recipes, you start with one medium-sized onion. And we're going to mince it, not like crazy tiny. Some vegetable oil, I mean olive oil, sorry. Medium heat. Okay, you just wanna saute that until it's soft and translucent. Go ahead and prepare your pan. Foil. A little bit of spray so that it doesn't stick. Ground beef, 80-20, cause you want a little bit of fat in there. That's one pound. And then half a pound of sausage. So you use like half of one of those like, you know, like a log of sausage that you can get like breakfast sausage. And I just get like the original, I don't get Jimmy Dean cause that has such a distinct flavor. One egg. That helps hold it together. Half a teaspoon of salt. No, that's wrong, that's not enough. I never measure my salt. I go by, just by hand and by looks. And you just kind of have to imagine that going throughout the entire meatloaf. Pepper, same thing with the pepper. I don't measure it, I just go. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then Worcestershire sauce. And it's two tablespoons. Now, the recipe calls for a can, like one of the small cans of tomato sauce, but I don't have any. So what do we do? Oh no. Well, we're gonna use ketchup instead. Cause ketchup goes like on top, you know? So we're gonna do like that much, okay? Because half the can is supposed to go in here and then the other half of the can goes on top of your meatloaf. Measure out one and a half cups of Oatmeal. I buy old fashioned oats, not the rolled kind, not the chopped up steel cut, blah, blah, blah. Okay, get those ready because now you have to use your hands. Mix it together until it's really, really evenly distributed. Make sure it's very evenly mixed because otherwise you will have really big bites of meat. So you just wanna like feel it and you can feel once it's mixed together, it just feels very uniform. Okay, now add your onion. Mix that in. 
little by little. I do the onions like this because otherwise if you pour hot onions onto your egg, you could have scrambled egg inside of your meatloaf. Okay, add your oats. Being a meatloaf hater, when I made this the first time, I was so skeptical. I was like, I am not. I will taste this, but I will not like it. Like I was six years old. And I took my bite and I said, Grandma Susie, just kind of roll it into a nice little football shape. This is so fun because at Halloween, I shape it into like, I'll go like this and it makes like a skeleton face. And then you can go like this. And then when it bakes, y'all remember Halloween, right? These pockets, it's so gross. They like fill with the fat from the meat and it becomes like a zombie nasty face. It's so fun. But we do like a footballish kind of long, I don't do like a bread pan because that kind of freaks me out. Okay, so there's our meatloaf. Wash your hands back to normal. And then I do some more pepper on top and just a really light sprinkling, really light for me this time because I don't have regular tomato sauce, so I'm gonna have to put ketchup on top, which has a lot of salt and flavor in it, you know? So just a little sprinkling of um, garlic powder. And then we're gonna go like... And you could totally put it in like that, but if you have one, use a brush and just kind of so that the whole thing is covered. The sauce is better, the tomato sauce is better because it'll drip down the sides and Dee Dee loves that like crunchy um, sauce that goes down on the sides and cooks. Okay, there's your meatloaf. I made it like, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half, two inches thick and then bake it on 350 until it reaches the internal temperature of 155 degrees. And that will be for approximately 30 minutes-ish, maybe? And that is how you make a meatloaf. Go, Dad! Slay. The last cooking video of Dad's 33rd year. Woo. Okay, me and baby bro are up here. I'm gonna do, bro, I'm thinking on this, th 34 things we love about dad. Cool? Yes. Okay, but I'm gonna do dad with this little sticker. We're doing a 34 things we love about dad chart. It will be so easy to come up with 34 things because there's 10,000 things and the seven things we love about him. Isn't this cute? So we'll put this in the front seat of the car in the morning so that this is the first thing dad reads from his loved ones when he gets in the car on his birthday. I'll put one on behalf of you, don't worry. And I'm using what stickers we have left for words and then Kenzie and I will just write it. I think this dog thinks we're like packing or going on a trip because that's how he's acting. And then look at how cute our board's coming along. It's done. Cute, huh? And then on the back, so this will be in the car when he gets in the car tomorrow. Okay, and then I always put up a car, uh, I know, a I know, he's concerned. I always put up a poster board with some kind of silliness I'll right up there. It. It. It's, it's Brian Hoagie Day. Day! The window's open, so is that door. I can't believe Brian Hoagie's 34. Who knew Dad cooked a thousand? Meals a day cooked. Look at this baby. He's just laying mm -hmm. right here. In the making of Dad's board. Hi, and I'm making a card for Dad. And Didi's doing this. Hey. Here she's been a sexy man and married to a man with a tan. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, it may not make much sense, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. It's Brian Holgate day. The window is open, so is that door. I can't believe Brian Holgate's 34. Who knew Dad cooked a thousand meals a day? Ooh. For years, she's been a sexy man and married to Dee Dee with a tan. Finally, Kenzie Holgate's going to sixth grade. There'll be actual, oh wait, he he, happy birthday dad, love Dee Dee and Kenzie. Dad and I take Kenzie to school together every single morning, so I'm gonna put the balloons and the 34 things we love about him in the car so it's the first thing he th sees when we take Kenzie to school. <laughs> You guys, dad just made his final meal as a 33 year old. And we're talking about Lululemon, but Dee Dee. Another year of great meals, dad. Thank you for cooking for us so much while you were 33. 
We kept this alive another year. Thank you, Dad. We love you. Alive another year. Without nourishment, <laughs> not with the pioneer stuff. You You're just like the best, Dad. That's what you are. Yeah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my phone has like a Take smudge on it, so it's creating there, like a like an downtown. angelic little filter. You look like an angel baby. Wait, Dad, got a new pan, just meet the eggs downtown. Oh my god, good job, bro. Alexa, play River. You guys look, the puppets are alive. <laughs> <laughs> Dead luck. Oh my god. Get in this dance party, boy. I got this um, thing right here, and it's supposed to have, be balloons that says happy birthday. It doesn't put it up there, but I broke one of the peas, and so it's gonna say happy birthday. So it's a country western birthday, Dad, so please don't judge. Okay, here we go, let's do this. Yankee really likes uh, balloon string. Don't know if we've ever told you that. Oh my god, Brian. Colgate's gonna be 34. Helium kills 50 fish in the sea every year, so we need to. Is that true, Helium kills 50 fish. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it cute? Pink and blue and silver? Okay, so we've got majority of dad's cute little pink, blue, silver, colorful birthday up with a little table. And then what's gonna tie it all together is the color of the gifts. It's gonna be great. We're on a beautiful March 22nd evening walk. How are you feeling over there, bro? Are you excited to have your dad get a little bit older? Mm -hmm. Say yes, ma'am. Bye bye, 33. We'll miss you, but we'll see you in 34. Bye. We're just like a river, that's what we are. Just like a river, catch it. This is our final family hug. She's in here somewhere. She's right there. Mm -hmm. Boy sandwich. Kenzie, Kenzie Holgate is making a wish for dad's birthday before she goes to bed. So sly. Dad is teaching me how, <laughs> what, welcome to me and dad's bed. Watching Golden Girls. This is the last moments of dad being 33. So he just wanted to say goodnight. Say goodnight, dad. Good night. Happy early birthday, sweetie. Thank you. Are you excited? I am. Tell me five favorite things about 33. Just kidding. Okay, good night. Love you.